Good morning there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, today I am going to be working on this little wooden section of my house here. We have brick uh, mostly around the house, but uh, this one little section here, we gotta do a little bit of work. As you can see, we pulled a piece off the other day when we done a little video. And I do have some other questionable wood here, like underneath my window sills and everything. I'm gonna cut some of these little one by two strips off of here and I've got stuff to replace them with and also in the corners here uh, I'm gonna cut these out too these one by two strips and I've got this stuff called Miratech that actually is has a 50-year warranty on it it's like a composite type material that's already primed and will accept paint it's like a treated type of lumber and I'm gonna put one on this side and one down here on the other side as well and also down here at the bottom, I'm gonna cut cut back all of these pieces here and some of it's gonna get replaced. And then I'm gonna put a piece of um, PVC board that's gonna sit right here on the brick and come up here about six inches all the way across and all these will come down there to it. So we're gonna get started. I'm not going to film every little step today because I really gotta get this thing going. I got hopefully some decent weather today and uh, but I will film the best I can. Uh, after I get everything cut off, I'll show you installing the new pieces and everything, and hopefully be able to show you a completed project by the end of today. So I'm gonna go get started. Okay, hey, we're gonna take a little break. We gotta ride back up to the store, get some new blades for our oscillating tool. We've hit a few nails and we've kind of dulled our blade on there. But as you can see what we're doing, we're taking off these little strips here. We're uh, cutting the caulk loose and prying them off. And we're gonna get all these cut off because I want to get to this one right here. This is the one that's got the water damage. So we're gonna get this one pulled out of here before it ends up having a problem with our window sill. I think our window sill is actually still okay. But anyway, we're gonna head up to the store, get some more blades, and keep on cutting, guys. Okay, hey, we're back. <clears throat> we got our new blade installed, and we've got a couple more pieces uh, already removed. We had to remove the one right up against the uh, <clears throat> window casing on this side. And uh, we're moving right along. We're actually over here working on this corner now. I think we're going to be okay on this window. I think it looks okay. I don't feel no soft wood as I go all the way around. We do plan on replacing these windows uh, in the near future with some replacement windows. We're over here pulling this piece right off of here. And we're going to keep on working, guys. guys I've got everything tore out now like I want to I got these corner pieces out and you notice uh, I have a little bit of gap here between that and my gypsum board on here I'm gonna go get some of that spray foam and spray a good bead down through there before we put our new piece of uh, wood on there we've got all these here removed that we uh, found questionable as far as wood rot over here we got the same thing and we went ahead and pulled that one off that actually was in pretty good tack but I wanted to replace it with this stuff that I'm actually getting ready to show you right quick. Let's go out to the garage. We got to uh, re uh, replace all this stuff with. This uh, stuff right here is called Miratech, okay? It's about uh, three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch by probably, but it looks like about two and a half. And uh, that's what's gonna go up on the sides up against the brick. And of course we have several, just uh, one by two strips here, uh, pine, and that's what we're gonna go back with all the little uprights that we replaced. But they won't go all the way down to that brick anymore, okay? Here's what we got. We got this 3 8 thick PVC board, okay? And we're gonna put this right on top of the um, masonite at the bottom. And, uh, and then these little um, uprights that come down, they're actually just gonna come right down to the top of this and they'll be cut on a 15 degree angle. And we shouldn't ever have another moisture problem anymore that will rot wood. At least that's what I'm hoping for, guys. So let me go up to the store right quick, get some of that spray foam, and we'll get right back on the spot. Hey, guys, plate. hey, we got our spray foam put in place on both sides. And we're going to start down here on this end first. We've got our caulk, and we've already cut our first piece of that uh, board that I was telling. I can't even think of the name of it right now at the moment. But we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll cut a piece 
82 and 7 8 we're going to leave it about an eighth inch short so it don't actually sit down on the brake so let's get that installed oh, the name of this stuff guys is miratech it says born to be the baddest and it's got a 50 year warranty on it okay now we've already got this side here nailed up and all we gotta do is caulk that we'll wait till we're done with everything before we caulk we're gonna take this piece and go ahead and nail it up on the other side okay guys before we put our piece of six inch uh, pvc down here along the bottom i've got a little changing here i'm going to do i don't know who built this house or why they done what they done but they had a little strip nailed right underneath the shutter here i'm not going to put that back and they had one nailed right here just right up to the bottom of the shutter and it doesn't really fit the way this side looks see how they're every 16 inches apart so what i'm going to do is actually install one right here kind of six inches away from that so then each side will actually look equal okay so what i gotta do i'm gonna mix up some body filler and i'm gonna spread this and sand it down and keep working with it so i can make this go away and make it nice and smooth right here and make it nice and smooth right here so that's gonna be our next step okay guys we got a coat of uh, bondo kind of skimmed over both of those areas we're gonna let that set up a little bit it's just a real thin coat we're just gonna take our orbital and uh, hit it with some 60 grit and then we'll probably re-skim it again and then we should be done after that um, you can use body work body filler and stuff like this it don't you don't have to be as uh, perfectionist as you would be on an automobile and uh, but we still want to look as good as we can but we will be just using the orbital to block all this out. Shouldn't take too long. All right, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and take the, uh, let me cut that off, man, so you can hear me talk. Take the orbital sander here. We're gonna go ahead and sand on this a little bit, kind of feather it on the edge, and I can tell already we're gonna have to re-skim it, so let's just get started. <laughs> Alright guys, hey, we put uh, two coats of uh, just regular old Bondo on here. We've got everything filled in nicely. It actually feels pretty good. But since I do have some of this glazing putty here, this is a polyester glazing putty for doing auto body work. I'm going to go ahead and skim it with that as a final coat. And so we're going to mix this up and skim this and then we will final sand this sucker. And then we'll be ready to continue putting this trim on today. hey that feels pretty good we went back over our glazing putty with some 150 grit and that feels pretty good that's good enough for body work on a car if i do say so myself all right we'll finish up this other little spot and then we'll move on okay guys now that we've got our body work in pretty good shape we're going to take a little bit of kills 2 primer here it's got stain block in it and we're going to go and roll these areas and at least put a coat of primer on it and we're going to actually continue on we're going to roll over all these areas here as well that we're getting ready to replace new wood. So give me a few minutes and then we'll move on to cutting some wood and putting some more of these strips back in place. Okay folks, hey, we're ready to start hanging some wood here now. We're gonna start with our six inch uh, piece of PVC that goes down here up against this area. Cause as you can see, we have uh, our um, masonite here has a little bit of uh, wood damage here at the bottom okay which i knew that was happening because all these years it's been sitting here water right up against the brick and even if it's caulked you know it can probably if it's got a little crack in it and get some water up underneath there or wick some up as well so that's why we're definitely all these are going to be cut back this one i kept on here and we've cut a 15 degree angle on it and it, this board's going to slide right underneath here we're going to attach it with some uh, liquid nails and then use our brad gun to nail in uh, at the top. So that's what we're getting ready to do now, folks. We're gonna go ahead and install this piece and then we'll put all our uprights in place and caulk everything up and call it, call this project done. All right, guys, we're gonna coat this thing really good with some liquid nails. We're gonna run a bead all the way down near the bottom and then we'll run one at the top and kind of exit in the middle and put this sucker in place. Okay, with our liquid nails in place, we're actually going to work it underneath this one little end here. 
Might be a little tricky. That's the only one that we uh, had to pre-cut since we were leaving it. We're going to set this up here and go ahead and get our nail gun and go ahead and put some nails through here on the studs. Okay guys, hey, it's getting about 6 o'clock, uh, running out of daylight here, but um, just want to show you right quick where I'm at. I'm hoping I'm going to get finished tonight. We got our uh, PVC board in place, uh, nailed in, uh, liquid nails uh, to the siding. We got some of our little uh, uprights, one by two strips actually in place here, cut and put back in place. And we're just moving on. We got our one long one there, and we're going to continue on here. And uh, my friend, Matt Hill Tina, she ran up to the uh, hardware store for me to get me some PVC cement. Because actually this PVC siding, you can actually put some on each edge and actually <clears throat> glue these together uh, just for some added strength. So we're waiting on that and we're gonna hopefully finish up this project tonight. All right, folks, hey, we got our PVC cement here and we're gonna go ahead and put a coat on both pieces, okay? Right down through here, really good, generous on both sides. And we're gonna stick it together quickly and hopefully this will bond. And we're gonna hold it there. Okay guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to cut one of these one by two uprights right quick. What I've been doing is put an 18 degree angle on the bottom end that goes down over that piece of PVC board. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Cut one, and we're going to go out there. I'll show you how I mark it off and do the final cut and get it nailed up. Okay, guys, first of all, butt that end down there up against that PVC board, and we'll come up here to the top with a pencil and we'll make a mark and we'll head on back to the saw. Okay, I'm going to zero up the saw right quick, and we're going to stick this piece in here. Bring our blade down to our mark. Work it a little bit that way. And I think we're about there. Okay, we got our piece cut right. And we're gonna throw a little bit of primer on each end. And then we're gonna go nail this sucker on. Okay, now we're just gonna nail this sucker up. Okay guys, hey, I'm actually done. Finally got this project done. We still got a little bit of daylight left. It's looking pretty good. I got everything done except caulking. And I might actually caulk in the morning because I'm pretty tired. And that'll give me a good opportunity to make a how-to caulking video. Guys, I want to thank you for watching our video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, we are on Patreon. If you'd like to donate a dollar or two, we sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a great day, and we are on Facebook as well. We'll have a link down below for that. Have a wonderful day, guys.